If you guys have played the Modern Warfare better than you would know for a fact that there are campers around every corner, every crack, and every crevice in this game. However, if you also know, Modern Warfare is tailored to be a more realistic experience, a more surreal experience, if you will. And with that experience, it is going to be more likely you're going to play more campy-like, because it's more tactical. And of course, I said that with Black Ops 4, but really that was not a tactical team tactical game, it was just all about rushing people. And if you guys also remember, on this channel, I uploaded about 10 months ago, rushing versus camping in Black Ops 4, specifically Blackout, which was better, and of course, rushing was better. This game, as I just mentioned, is more so tactical-wise. However, like I say, you see them everywhere. I like to rush in this game, and it was actually point teeth to get camping gameplay for you, but I did get some camping gameplay for you. And let me tell you something, you feel like a complete dickbag camping. Unless, of course, you camp all the time, in which case, I just question why you get the game, but then again, you bought the game, so you can do whatever you want with it. Today's video is going to be all about which is better for you. Do you want to camp, or do you want to rush? And here are the pros and cons of each. Starting with the rushing. Rushing in this game is not the same as Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 was always an arcade shooter. In this game, uh, it's more so down to earth, everything has weight. When you ever shoot a gun, the recoil goes side to side and the idle sway is completely in a different pattern than was in Black Ops 4. And whenever you run, you can double tap your sprint button to run faster. However, there's a caveat to that. If you do this and you try to have your sprint speed out time, your sprint out time, which is basically whenever you sprint to get your gun up right away instead of stopping, it's very slow, meaning because you have to pull the gun down whenever you run. Your hand, only one hand is on the gun at the time to run. You have to put the hand in the other side of the gun, and you have to aim it. And that really slows down your momentum. If you do that, you're not going to win all your gunfights unless you know how to sneak up on people or you execute them from behind. Usually, if you want to get the clips, especially since the first nuke and card has already been out, especially with the... Um, you know, the under-the-map, I believe, Battle Royale, or not Battle Royale, but the uh, Ground War map, the quarry, there was an under-the-map glitch, I believe, and you can get nukes that way. With this stuff being said, it's more rewarding to go after people, because you understand that this is a tactical game, it is all about camping and stuff, and if you go and rush, you have the sense of freedom. I've gotten three Merciless Medals in the beta alone in a matter of the two weeks that we had time to play it, just for... Rushing, I know it's not a big deal because people have gotten nukes and I don't really play this that often because I usually played about four or five games a day before I had to go do something else. But to get merciless medals just rushing about, knowing where the campers will be, learning the maps, learning the doors, learning the speed that you can run, learning the darkness in the corners. Learning all this stuff helps you out in the long run for rushing and therefore rushing is pretty decent. Let's take a look at camping. Again, it, it pulled teeth of mine to get this camping gameplay for you. However, here it is, I believe. Camping in this game... Um, is very, uh, I would say, strenuous in a way. Uh, you have to listen to feet. You have to know where they're at. These maps are not like Black Ops 4 or anything you've seen before, which are just tree lane maps. These are realistic setting maps, which I personally absolutely love. Now, when you have campers in these maps, they can be anywhere, as I've said earlier. It's more than just the typical ones you might find in Black Ops 4. These are different maps, and considering the fact we've only had access to about three or four multiplayer maps in the actual gunfight, the not gunfight, the uh, multiplayer beta, um, you quickly learn where they're at at all times. Now, when you're camping, uh, you're going to have your claymores. People get blown up by that shit all the time, myself included. It's actually kind of funny when they get launched into the sky. They also have deployable cover. You have claymores, deployable cover, and all that stuff. And it depends on what you really want to take. Now, the thing about camping is that you can change the loadout anytime you want to on the fly as long as you have the attachments unlocked. You go to your creator class, you go to the wrench icon, and you change it via the gunsmith, and you can just do that right there. Which is a nice feature, actually, but it can really change up the gameplay now because people used to be you taking a specific loadout. Now you're taking in whatever you want to on the fly as long as you respond with it. And, yeah, there are mixed opinions about that, but it's pretty decent on paper. When you have campers that change their loadout to get more kills in a short-ranged area, maybe they'll change the barrel to be shorter, and they'll change it to be more fire rate. Um, if you're camping like this, even though it's more of a kind of like a dick move, with all the bias said, um, it's still a way to get kills. Now, the question really comes down to this. Do you want to feel rewarded when you get kills by rushing, or do you want to feel like you want to get a stack amount of kills before they figure out where you're at. Because the thing is, in every single card game, if you're camping and they watch the kill cam, they're going to know where you're at. So they're going to attack you from a different angle, or they're going to pre-fire. You have to consider this when you camp. Now, um, now for us rushers, I really shouldn't have given that tip, but that's pretty much common sense. If you are going to camp, you're going to have to change 
where you're going. I don't condone camping, I only play about two games of camping altogether just to get the gameplay for you all because one game will. Obviously, I'm more of a rushing person, um, but in the end, it really comes down to your gameplay. I know when Modern Warfare drops this week, it's all going to be about camping this, camping that, getting pissed off at claim walls, and yes, but that is not the point. Basically, what do you want to do? Camping is more of a tactical thing, it's a very douchey thing to do, unless you, of course, just want to rack up kills for fun. Uh, again, rushing is the right loadout, and go right in, know where they're at, do the jump shots. Headshots are your best contender, because they're an instinct, whatever it was. No, M19. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm Cyblox, I'm signing out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That being said, guys, I'll sign out.